Manny. I'm Justine. And our classic piece is called They Was Girls Together by Sherry Moraga. It was a poem that curled the girls' knuckles round chain link, white bones splitting through clenched brown fists. It, it was, was a poem, poem that held the two women in the grip of a rhetoric they found both their grown mouths shaping with voices thin as November air. I, I thought, thought you had my back. It, it was, was a poem that enveloped their tiny Brooklyn blocked world. Made love to their innocence and fresh, sharp stabs since the betrayal. They was girls together trying to do the impossible. Love, it, it was, was a poem, poem that forgave them their failure. Our response is titled, Girls. Back off. Blue is for boys. Cars are for boys. First place is for boys. I get what I want is for boys. But, but girls are not toys, and they are not for boys, boys to enjoy. enjoy. When I was 10, I learned that if you want something, you say yes. And, and if, if you, you don't, you say no. It was simple, yet the English language made me uncomfortable with words like rape, rape and molestation that cannot be spoken, only experienced in silence. silence. Back, Back off. off. Don't say those words. They don't exist. Smile. Cross your legs. Straighten your skirt. Things like, like that, that don't, don't happen, happen to nice girls, girls who know when to be, be quiet. quiet. I wanted a normal childhood to play hopscotch and learn how to braid, not, not how to unbuckle a man's belt. But it isn't a father's duty to teach his daughter what to do when, when her legs are forced open, when society blames girls for their daddy issues in ways they never imagined. Back off! No, stop. Either men are hard or hard of hearing, or America has a really hard time accepting no as an answer. I watch daddy teach my brothers how to be gentlemen. Hold the door open. Buy them flowers. But, but I, I wonder where they learn to become monsters. monsters. The first time I had a fight with a man was in the ring of a courtroom. I stared into his eyes. I stared into his eyes. Soulless and empty. Smirking with confidence. I pierced my voice to his polluted heart. The court looked at me like I was crying wolf. I smiled. He smiled. I won. I lost. I had stripped him of his freedom. He had stripped me of my innocence. And, and in, in that, that moment, moment I thought I would never love again. And in the end, I learned my lesson. Pink is for girls. Crying is for girls. Flowy skirts. Floral shirts. Fake. Fit. Fat. Flat. Frizzy. Flirty. Failure is for girls who try to succeed in a world where men will always win. But I will not stop until he knows what it feels like to be a woman. To feel powerless and to be blamed for what a man has done. Until, until he, he learns how to act like a decent human being. Back off! Before I was a victim, I was a girl whose love could crush bones and create mountains. Whose soul you took but never returned. Do not tell me to love myself before I can love somebody else. I will never for a second blame myself. Or belong to somebody else. You, you cannot, cannot determine, determine my worth, worth with your worthlessness because it was you who needed loving, it was you who needed fixing, it was you who tried to hide your weakness. But I am strong. Because girls are not toys. And they are not for boys to destroy. destroy.